this place. Amen. You are worth welcoming the presence of God in your very home. Sige, lahat ng gusto po malakpak. Bigyan na pa po kayo ang Diyos na nakila. Come on. Yes. And shout hallelujah. so much wonderful praise and worship ignite team yes thank you so much yan sige nga po pasalamatan naman po natin ang ating worship team pakitay po dyan thank you worship team ayan sige kaya mo yan kaya mo yan you know every Sunday they come here early just to uh, serve the Lord and really sing from their heart with all their might and energy. Amen. All right. If you're ready, bago ho tayo magsimula, type mo muna dyan, I'm ready. Come on, I'm ready. I need you all fired to be fired up today. I'm so excited. You can turn your microphones on dito sa ating mga uh, studio. Yes, come on. Yeah. Um, masaya ho na tayong lahat ay masigla sa Panginoon, lalot ngayong umagang ito. Amen? Amen. All right, I'm just so excited today because I believe God has a word for you. Type mo dyan, uh, God has a word for me. God, God has a word, word for me. me. Yan, kung merong word si Lord, sige, type mo, God has a word for me. And so we're going to share this video to every person in the whole world because God has a word for them too. Amen? So say again, the count of three. One, two, three, go. Share. Right, pose. And then, pose. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa mga naka-watch party at patuloy po hindi kinahihiya ang gospel. Alam niyo po, this is the way we live now. Ito po yung nagpapalakas lang po sa atin, ang salita ng Diyos. Amen? Now, before anything else, I want you all to stretch your hands towards the screen. Yes, you can do that. Come on. Come on, as early as now, I'm going to declare something good over your life. Come on, everyone. Ayan. Yes, I'm, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. You better believe this. You better believe this. All right. I am now declaring you will have a powerful encounter with God today in the name of Jesus. Everyone watching will have a powerful encounter with the Lord Jesus today. And I am declaring you will receive a mighty and transformational miracle over your life and over your family in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone shout and type, I receive it. Come on, I receive it. Yeah. We all receive that. Grabe. Kanina po habang ako yung naghahanda, sabi ni Lord, sige, mag-declare ka. I'm going to perform a miracle. Kay nino kayang miracle yun? Sabi mo akin yun. Yes. All right. Today, I'm going to be needing you here, son. Sige. Alam niyo po, bago tayo magsimula, I'm, I'm gonna let you watch a video. A video of our topic this morning. So fasten your seatbelts. Let's play it right. It is Jesus, all right. I recognize some of his followers. Look, look, there's Simon, whom he calls Peter, and his brother Andrew. Do you think he'll help us? I am sure he will. Lord, help us. He healed the leper at Capernaum. He will heal us. Master! Master! Have mercy! 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 Go and show yourselves to the priests. At Jesus' words, the ten lepers instantly felt the divine authority in the Master's voice. They realized the promise that was in his word, and they went off to do as he had commanded them. But then... Look! I'm clean! I'm, I'm clean, too! Clean. I'm clean! I'm clean. My stores are gone! I'm clean! Come. 
Let us show ourselves to the priest. Not ten lepers cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this stranger? Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Thank you, Master. Thank you. message and miracle from the Lord. Sige po, isang malakas ang palakpak sa life changer. Okay? Walang iba pa si, kundi si Jesus Christ. Sige, all the clap emoji there. I'm gonna needing you all the clap emoji there to express our gratitude to the Lord. Alam niyo po, kanina ko pa sinasabi na may mga tatanggap talaga ng Himala ngayong umagang ito. At ikaw yun. Sabihin mo sa kaliwat kanan ng pamilya mo at at type mo rin dyan, ikaw at ako yun. You need to understand, many people have encountered Jesus. Ang dami ho, in the gospel, in the life story of Jesus, ang dami-dami ho na na-encuentro po si Jesus. But not everyone, not everyone walk away differently. Marami lang sila na nakatagpo si Jesus, pero hindi lahat nagbago ang buhay nang ganun. Meron ho tatlong sikreto ang uh, ipapahayag ko po ngayong umagang ito. Three attitudes kung paano ho tayo magiging just like that one person from among the ten lepers. Paano tayo magiging ganun? Alam niyo po, lagi niyo na po naririnig itong kwentong to and I've read this story so many times but when I read it over and over again, I found three kinds of attitude that this one and only man who came back to Jesus has. Meron siyang kakaibang attitude. He walked away differently. Yes, they encountered the Lord, pero itong taong to, nag-iisa lang siya na nagbago ang buhay. Naiba ang buhay nung naranasan at na-encounter si Jesus. And much more, beyond the miracle, meron pa siyang naranasan. And so, number one, I want to tell you, so, may sampung ketong, eh, no? Okay, para ho sa iba na hindi gaano na gets yung sorry, sampung ketong, and they were shouting out, Lord, Lord, that's written in Luke 17, Luke 17, 11 to 19. Ang sabi, Lord, please, heal us! Tumisigaw ho sila. And you know, during the time, may social distancing po ang mga lepers. And they cannot just come um, near anyone because they could be killed. Pwede silang batuhin at hanggang mamatay. And that's a social rule. Hindi who murder yon, Okay? So, that's what happens. They were shouting, Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy. And from a distance, from a distance, Come on, Jack. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> From a distance, Jesus shouted out and told them, Go on your way. Show yourselves to the priest. Whoa. This is a different kind of miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Usually, si Jesus lumalapit, hinahawakan, um, nialagyan ng putik ang mga bulag na mata, hinahawakan, ni-stretch, nililay hands, ang patay. But this time, Jesus just spoke the word. 
from a distance. And so what happened? Sabang sila po'y naglalakad, they were saying, Whoa, pare, tama ba nakikita ko, pare? Pare, oh, tayo, kumusta na? Kumusta ang skin mo? Ang ganda rin, ano? Oh, pa, pa, pare, isa pang Ronald. Ronald, okay ba yung skin mo dyan? Oh, kumusta? Mike, Mike, okay ba? Okay ba? Pare, gumagaling ako, pare. Hum- humaba ulit itong mga p- ah, putol kong kuko. Ah, Justin, okay ba? Okay, okay ka lang? Yung pa mo, hindi kumpleto. Ah, Alex, okay na? Kumpleto na ba? Oh, no, 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 lima na lang. Tatlo na lang. May natin. <laughs> Bakit gusto-gusto nyo pinagkakabalahan si Alex, ha? Oh, oh, Jack, kumusta yung mga kamay? Yung tenga natin, Donya Lisa. Yung ilong natin, mga... Um, come on, everyone here. Nieto, siblings, kumusta? Ray, ikaw na lang, hindi ko nawabanggit. <laughs> oh, kumusta kamay mo, Ray? Habang nag-IT, kumpleto ba ba? At siyempre, si Prince, kumpleto ba ang kamay mo? Alam niyo po, nakakita nila eh. Sila po yung nagsipaggaling. Gabi po, it was such a wonderful and powerful miracle done from a distance. Sabihin mo nga dyan, type mo, from a distance. Ayan ha? Okay, from a distance. Thank you so much, team. Now, habang sila po'y naglalakad at nadiscovery nilang sila'y magagaling, merong isa. Sabi ni Jesus, pumunta kayo sa mga priests d- during the time. Ang mga priests po ang tinatawag na health officers. Okay? Sila po'y nagdi-declare. Medical uh, professionals, sila yung magdi-declare din. At the same time, priests sila, sila yung magdi-declare kung ikaw ay magaling na. Pero ang nakakatuwa ho dito sa sampung to, sumunod sila. And it takes a lot of faith to do that. Alam mo hindi ka basta, basta, basta pwedeng lumapit sa priest. Kung ikaw ay ketongin, kailangan lalapit ka doon. Kung magaling ka na, tapos inspect ka niya, pati nga kamay mo, pati nga ang tenga mo, pag nakita niya, kumpleto. Okay, check ka na. You can go back to your family. Pero, yung lalapit ka na may ketong ka, hindi pwede yon. Type mo, hindi pwede yon. Hindi pwede yon. Hindi pwede yon. But they, they, these ten people took a leap of faith and they obeyed Jesus. Pero may higit pang mas kakaiba. Nung nakita nung isa, nagumaling na siya. Imbes na dumiretso ho sa templo para magpakita sa priest to declare him healthy, siya po'y bumalik kay Jesus. Hindi siya tumuloy sa templo. Siya'y bumalik kay Jesus at nagpakatira pa! Sabi niya, Master! Master, ano ho sabi? Master, thank you. Praise the Lord. Ayun po yung mga sinabi niya. So today, pag-aaralan ho natin itong nag-iisang mamang ire. Ano ba ang kanyang sikreto nung siya'y lumapit kay Jesus and his life became different. He never was the same man after encountering Jesus. Number one, you must have the attitude of I know Jesus will see me when no one else does. Dapat ho, may ganyan ho tayong attitude. Itong mamang ire, meron po siyang ganong attitude. Sa kabila ng pain niya, sabi niya, I know and I know. Jesus sees me even when no one else does. On the way to Jerusalem, ang sabi yun ng kwento, on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus saw them. Sa totoo lang ho, kahit ikaw at ako, pag may naka, nalaman ka sa kapitbahay mo may nag-COVID, ano ang ginagawa mo? Di ba binabalutan mo yung buong bahay mo ng plastic? At kung maaari lang, pag alam mo may infected person, kumaari lang. Pag dumadaan ganyan, alam mo, iikot ka sa malas malayong lugar. Yan ho ang ginagawa ng marami gudyo during the time. But with these ten people, Jesus, when entering, upon entering Jerusalem, nagsisigaw tong sampung to. Hindi inilagan ni Jesus. Jesus did not choose to go round about to avoid these people. But Jesus, took the initiative to look upon them. Everyone watching here, I must tell you, Jesus sees you even when no one else does. Nakita ho ng Panginoon ang pain mo. You may be suffering from many different pains. These ten people have their own pain. One thing in common, they have leprosy. 
And I must say to you, alam niyo po, if I'm going to discuss to you the, the, the details of leprosy, I bet you would not eat your lunch. You would not be able to eat your lunch. Pagod din describe natin in details. What is leprosy? Leprosy is a very terrible disease. Pakita natin anak. I'll give you the, some of the details. Leprosy attacks the body, leaving sores, missing fingers, missing toes, damaged limbs. Nagkakawalaan ho ang mga daliri, ang mga uh, hinlalaki sa paa, ang mga daliri sa paa, nawawala. What else? In many cases, the initial pain of leprosy gives way to something more terrible than that. Iba pa ho, there's a loss of sensation. One will experience a loss of sensation in the nerve endings. Sobrang nawawala no ng pakiramdam and then the worsen yung mga part na may lep, the leprous part leading to a more damaged body parts at nagkakalaglagan. What else? The disease can take here, here's more. The disease can take 30 type it there, 30 30 years no bago po uh, um yung uh, to run its course 30 years can you imagine kung buhay ka pa ng 30 years grabe ho the entire lens can simply fall off kulang-kulang nakita niyo po yung mga nandiyan sa picture thank you so much rai it's a horrible disease and can you imagine 2000 years ago without the expertise of of science Wala pang ganong discovery ng gamot. Paano kaya? It's almost a sure hopeless case. Leprosy. Gusto kong sabihin sa iyo, itong sampung to, suffer from leprosy, not only from pain, but also from death. Para silang zombies. They're like, like living dead. Type mo dyan, living dead. Living dead. It's a long process. It's a long process of death. Not just physical death, but also social and cultural death. Pag may leprosy ka, socially, you have died. You, have, you will be separated and t- you will be taken away from your family. Kailangan ilayo ka sa isang lugar na walang tao. You will, culturally, you will die. Lahat ng mga pangarap mo sa buhay, lahat ng gusto mo, mawawala. The physical death can happen for a quite a long time, around 30 years. Pero yung, yung cultural and social death, it happens immediately. Type it there, immediately. immediately. Nangyayari agad, separated ka agad. And they have this pain in their, in their lives. At kapag hu ikaw ay magsasalita at tatawag ng atensyon, take note ha, walang pwedeng lumapit sa'yo. Nobody cares. Nobody sees leprous people. They don't, they just don't want to see them. Nobody would care enough to, to build a pantry, community pantry para lahat sila'y makakain. You're gonna live on your own. And if you need help, you will have to flash this. You're gonna have to flash this. Help! Food! Food! Food, please! Water! Water! Anyone! Water! Please! Help! Food! Help! Clothing! Please! When being separated from their family, kailangan may flashcard agad sila. Kasi ho, yung maawa, pwedeng batuan sila ng pagkain. Pero most of the time, wala akong gusto. But Jesus was there for them. Jesus was there for the pay, those people who are suffering from pain. Jesus was there when you were unclean. When you and I were so unclean. Si Jesus, so ang pumansin sa atin. Nung tayo po ay nakababad sa kasalanan, si Jesus lang ang pumansin sa atin. Nung tayo ay nakalugmok sa mud of sin and from the curse of sin, only Jesus 
was there to, to really see us and take notice of us. Jesus never turned her, his back on us. Jesus never ever left you. And this is the reason why the attitude of this young, the, this man, the one and only man, sabi niya, I know Jesus sees me even if I'm unclean. And this is my, my life. We used to be like this. We used to be unclean, church. We used to be unclean. This is the reason why. May kakaibang attitude itong lalaking ito. And why, why would Jesus, by the way, why would Jesus mind them? You know, it's because why is Jesus so attracted to all those people? Pansinin niyo po ang Bible. Jesus is always attracted to people who are in pain. Jesus is always attracted to people who are desperate. And why is that so? Because Jesus is the hope of the world. Type it there. Jesus is the hope of the world. Jesus is the hope of the world. That is why if you feel hopeless, kung sa tingin mo wala pong mapansin sa iyo, gaya ng sampung ketongin na to, then I would like to let you know, you must know that Jesus sees you even when no one else does. That's written in Matthew 12, 21 and His name will be the hope of the world. In this life, alam niyo po, napakadami hong pain ng mundo. Napakadami hong ng pain ng mundo. And I remember, I remember the time we went through a severe pain of losing a premature son. And many church people just visited us in the hospital. It was a Sunday morning and I couldn't go to church because I was bleeding so much. That I told me to please stay put. I'm going to preach and I'll come back as fast as I can. And when he came back, I was bleeding that much. Umiihi po ako ng dugo, literally. And so he rushed me to the hospital emergency. When I came there, the doctor needs to uh, deliver, choose between me or the child. So I need to deliver the child prematurely, five-month-old baby. And he didn't make it. That's the severest, most severe pain we've ever gone through as a family. But you know what? Jesus saw us there. He sent so many church people. He sent so many friends. He sent us Jesuses during that time. People in the form of Jesus were there to encourage us, to cheer us up, people to really pray for us. And even we didn't have too much money back then to pay for the bills. But Jesus saw us and he sent so many people to help us financially. And I am just so indebted to all these people. Some of them are still here and some of them are not. No more. Just thinking over it. what happened How, while preparing for this message, I pray for them. Lord, those people who are not with us anymore, but those people you've used during the time we were in severe pain, God, I bless them. I bless them. And so, today, as a seers, I would like to ask you what is your pain where is your pain maybe a pain from a, a wrong relationship a pain from betrayal pain from wrong decision a pain from past regrets or failures what is your pain Jesus sees you even when no one else does. And that's good news. That's good news. And that's very satisfying to know that someone out there, somebody close to us, I mean, he's standing before us, he's with us, he sees us in our condition, no matter what. Kapatid, you and I can make a change in this world. Me as a pastor, I cannot 
I cannot reach out on all people. You can reach out on so many people. You can be a Jesus to someone else. You can be a help. You can notice someone who is in pain. You can serve that person. You can help. Be a Jesus to someone else. Type it there. Be a Jesus to someone. Be a Jesus to someone. The second attitude. I'm going to wait for you. See, be a Jesus to someone. The second attitude this man has. Dapat meron kang ganitong attitude. What I need is more than what I want. May ganito hong mentality ang lalaking ire. Yung bumalik kay Jesus. What I need is more than what I would want. Magkaiba ho yan. Yung want, pwedeng hindi importante yan. Pwede mga gadget, mga material na bagay. But, can I have tissue please? Thank you. But, uh, need is something that is a must. Hindi pwedeng mawala. These ten lepers knew what they wanted. Thank you, Anna. Excuse me. These lepers, these ten lepers, they know what they want. They want healing. They want physical healing. But this one man knows what he needs. He needs more than physical healing. He needs salvation of his soul. And that is why he came back to Jesus. Come on, give God the glory. He came back to Jesus. He came back to Jesus because he knew he needs healing. But more than healing, physical healing, he needs the salvation of his soul. And salvation of, any, of a man's soul cannot be given by any ordinary priest. But only the one true holy priest and that is Jesus Christ type it there Jesus is my priest come on with a capital J please whenever you type the name of Jesus please use a capital J Jesus is my priest one of the le one of the lepers came back to Jesus alam you po nowadays Habang tumatagal po ang pandemic, habang tayo ay nag advance in the years of this world, yung habang tumatagal ang mundo, hindi po, nawawala ang focus natin sa Panginoon. And sad to say, many Christians lose their focus as well. They're focusing on their needs. Christians nowadays, some Christians would want a better car a better house a better gadget better bag better makeup better clothes better shoes what else and some christians would want a better partner sexier younger more intellectual than who they have right now nakakalungkot ho iba na iba ho ang 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 attitude ng maraming Kristiyano. Ngayon, mas gusto mo ng mga Kristiyano, they they better worry than trust. And it's so sad. It's become it's becoming um it's a pandemic. This is the worst scenario we could ever imagine from among the believers happening. Grabe po. Ecclesiastes 6:9 says Anong sabi ni, ni King Solomon? Enjoy what you have. Type it there. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy what you have. Rather than desiring for what you don't have. Right. Oh, meron ka ng bahay. Alam niyo po kung bakit yung iba, hindi makuwang magsumamba sa Panginoon. May bahay na. Kaya lang, ang they, what they want is a bigger house. So instead of thanking God for their house, nagre-reklamo pa. Hindi makuwang magpasalamat. Kasi yung nasa isip, gusto ko mas malaki. There's nothing wrong with that. But I want you to understand, you better identify your want and your need, which is more important. 
Jesus Christ. Maybe you have a big house, ang dami-dami hong malaking bahay, pero walang Jesus. So what do you, what do you want? Choose between what do you want and what you need. For me and my house, we need Jesus. Type it there, I need Jesus. I need Jesus. Sabi ho, enjoy what you have rather than desiring what you don't have. Because just dreaming about nice things is meaningless. Walang katuturan yung mangarap ka ng mangarap ng palaki, ng palaki, ng palaki. Well, don't get me wrong. You should have an excellent mindset. But what I'm saying is, sobrang naghahangad ka ng marami masigit dyan to the point na nakalimutan mo na ang nagbigay niyan. At nakalimutan mo na magpasalamat kung anong mayroon ka sa ngayon. Because if you can be trusted with small things, God will entrust you with big things. If you can be trusted with small things, God will entrust you with big things. Entrust you with big things. Type it there, I can be trusted. Come on, I can be trusted. I can be trusted. Embrace what God is giving you. Than to always want something more. Anong meron ka ngayon? Just be grateful for what you have. This man, ang sabi ho niya, grabe, may kagalingan ako, pero hindi itong kagalingan kung kailangan ko. Yung nagpagaling sa akin ang kailangan ko. And, the, and so he went back to the real healer, the one who caused healing. Hallelujah. Sige, okay, lahat ng clap emoji, give it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Lahat ng clap emoji, all glory for Jesus, to Jesus. This man took the initiative to focus his eyes on the Lord. Hebrews 12, 2 says, NKJV, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher. The author and the finisher of our faith. Kapatid, huwag ka tumingin sa mga material na bagay. Babagsak ka. Babagsak ka. Mangihina ka. Bakit yung yung kapitbahay kung ganda-ganda nung ganun? Ako ito lang. Ba't siya may ganun? Ba't yung ganda nung sapatos ni Rowin? Parang kay Prince. <laughs> ano yan? Partner shoes? Ano ba tawag dun? Couple shoes? Nagkataon namang pereha sila. O, ano ba talaga nag-uusap ba kayo? <laughs> you know? More than the shoes? Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Hindi, hindi ka babagsak pa kay Jesus ka nakatingin. And that's what this man did. Only one, the one out of ten, one out of ten, be that kind of person, the one among the ten, one among the crowd who choose, who choose to identify, who can identify what he really needs more than what he really wants. Jesus is all that we need. Type mo uli dyan, Jesus is all that I need. Jesus is all that I need. And last, not number three, here's the attitude of this one and only man who got healed. He has this attitude, sabi niya, I'll turn every blessing into praise. I'll turn every blessing into praise. Come on. Sino kaya ang gagawa nun? Lahat ng mga binibigay ng Panginoon, magbibigay ka ng bugay, papasalamatan mo sa Diyos, anumang meron ka. Come on. Sabihin mo, ako yun, ako yun. Ako yun. Yes. This man, he came back to Jesus. Well, kaninang flashcard niya, eto. Madumi. Jesus noticed him and he received his miracle. Tapos tinapo na niya. I don't need that anymore. I'll be needing a new flashcard. I'm gonna be needing this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is my flashcard. This is my flashcard in my life. Thank you, Lord, from this time on, Lord. I'm going to thank you for everything, every single thing. Sabi Ujian, one of them shouting, praise God. Luke 17, 15. 
A and D, one of them shouting, praise God. Sabi niya, he fell to the ground at, the, at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. And this man was a Samaritan. Oh, talagang in-emphasize si Dr. Luke that he was a Samaritan. Maybe the nine were Jews supposed to be sila yung dapat nakakakilala ng totoong God. But this Jew, this Gentile or Samaritan, I must nakarecognize ng totoong healer. Mas na-recognize niya. Mas bumalik siya. Nagpasalamat. Hindi na yung uh, pain ang daladala niya. Alam niyo po, ang mga taong totoo naka-encounter kay Lord, hindi na bit-bit yung pain. They no longer, they no longer bringing the, the placard. Can you please get that once again? Hindi na nila bit-bit yung mga talaga naka-encounter kay Jesus. Hindi na huli na binabalik-balikan yung pain nila. Yung mga pain in the past, hindi na huli na binabalikan. Pag lumalakad ang mga totoong nag-encounter kay Jesus, hindi dalawa. Isa lang, isa lang, isa lang. Kinakalimutan na nila ang pain nila. Kinatanggal na nila ang pain nila. Hindi ko na kailangan to. No more, no more. I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna thank God. Listen very well. Listen very well. Alam niyo po, maaaring nagsabi siguro yung, yung mga nakakakita sa kanyang mga disciples, yung maaaring galito nagsabi. Baka may mga ibang nag-comment din, eh, no? Misan, maganda na ginagawa mo. Marami pang naiinis, eh, no? Right. Oh, di ba? You cannot really please everyone. Alam niyo po ang sabi ng kwento? This man fell at, the, at Jesus' feet. He overkilled it! Pwedeng sabihin, ang OA naman, hindi ba pwedeng magpasalamat ng uh, magmano na lang? Thank you, Lord. Hindi ba pwedeng magpasalamat na, Hey, bro, thank you so much. You really healed me. Thank you. Hindi. This man took the initiative to really bow down at the feet of Jesus. He knows. He knows the authority of Jesus. He recognized. Nakita niya. Hindi mababa ang tingin niya sa Panginoon. Alam niyo po, sad to say, maraming Christian, we get so used to God. We get so used to worshiping God that whenever you're on live streaming, kahit nakatiwangwang ganyan, no, nagpe-praise and worship yung mga, yung mga Ignite team, katiwangwang lang. May iba pa nga, nag, 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 nagbabrowse pa, no? nagbabrowse pa, o, lumilipat ng channel. Habang nagpe-praise and worship or habang nagbabatian, sige, sige, lipat muna tayo. Dami ko ng like dito. Iko-comment muna ako. Alam niyo po, grabe po ang respeto nitong mamang ire. He bowed down. Baka yung mga over, yung mga crowd, pwedeng sabihin, grabe, over the top yan pare, over the top. That's too much. Ang OA mo, you overkilled it. Pero alam niyo po, pag narinig niyo po, siguro magsa, kung buhay lang tong lalaking ito, at in our present times, baka sasabihin niya sa'yo, I did not overkill it. It's not, it's not way or over the top. It's because hindi mo naiintindihan yung pinanggalingan ko. The reason I bow down at the feet of Jesus is because you don't understand what I've been through. What pain I've been through. Hindi mo, porkit hindi mo naranasan ang mga dinaanan ko, pinagdaanan ko because I was a leprous man. I was a leprous man full of leprosy and I've experienced extreme pain. These fingers, they were not ten. They were just three left fingers. There were, there were only three fingers left. And these ears that I have right now, they're incomplete. They're only half. And these eyes that I have, they've fallen. They've fallen from my face. They've fallen apart. And the nose I, I used to have, 
they're worse. And my feet, my whole body is in sore. Lahat may mga sugat ito. I was in extreme pain. I was separated from my wife, my children. This leprosy killed my future. This leprosy killed my life. I'm a living dead. This leprosy, this pain that I've been through, you just don't know, man. I am bowing down to the Lord, to Jesus. It's all because my life has been changed. My life has been a miracle. My life has Amen. been transformed because Jesus made a powerful, transformational miracle in my life. And this is the way I worship Him. This is the way I worship. This is the way I bow down. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. It's all that but not the least he turned his blessings into worship when was the last time you worship God with the blessings you receive this is the right time to thank him and praise him for everything he does let me pray for you father stretch out your hands come on come on don't be shy don't be shy you're lifting your hands not to me you're lifting your hands to Jesus and God is seeing your hands right now Every family member, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this moment. Thank you for seeing us. 
looking onto us, Lord. When no one else wants to look on us, in times of our pain, you were there for us. You healed us. You comforted us, Lord. God, in every painful moment of our lives, you are sending people to cheer us up. And you are using so many people to bless us, encourage us. You were there for us, Lord. God, thank you so much. And God, thank you. Because today we have learned how to identify between our needs and our wants. And so far, we only have one need, and that is you, Lord God. And also, God, thank you for all these people who watch today. They just simply want to turn their blessings. What we have is what we're going to praise you for. Because we believe if we can be trusted with small things, you can entrust us with big things. And thank you so much, God. I pray for this person right now watching. That you would bless his life, his family. Let them receive salvation just like this man go because your faith has healed you Jesus said go your faith has healed you and your healing I declare is not only physical more than physical healing God has healed you spiritually amen and if you really want to be sure of your spiritual healing follow after me with this simple prayer Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus please, forgive me of my sins. please forgive me of my sins I accept you, I accept you as, my personal Lord and Savior. as my personal Lord and Savior thank you, thank you for writing my name for writing in, my the name book of life. in the book of life from now on, from now on you'll, be the Lord you'll be the Lord of my life, of my, life my, heart, my heart and my mind, and my mind. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Come on, give God the biggest hands of praise. If you have prayed this prayer, let's type it there. I receive God's miracles. Come on. I receive God's miracles. Kung may pinakamatinding himala, anong nangyari ngayon sa'yo, ayun ang himala na ikaw ay niligtas ng Panginoon. Niligtas si Lord ang buong pamilya mo. Pinago ka ni Lord. Hallelujah. Type it there. Hallelujah. Emoji belongs to Jesus. Yes. yes. Let me call in Bishop June for our yes. communion. Wow. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Oh. Grabe. Matindi ang uh, message ni Lord sa atin. Kung na uh, bless ka naman dyan, pakitay mo dyan. I'm super blessed. I'm super, I'm super blessed. blessed. I'm super blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sidar. Yes. What? It's really a wonderful message. All Thank right. You. At ngayon po ay uh, seselyohan po natin lahat ng narinig natin through this communion. Ito po yung pinagagawa sa atin ni Lord mismo. No? Uh, gawin daw natin. Kaya as often as we can. No? Kaya every Sunday meron po tayong communion. Isa po itong pasasalamat kay Lord. Sabi po ng 1 Corinthians 15, 57, 58 But thanks be to God! Type mo nga dyan sa comment box natin. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Bigyan po kita ng mga dahilan kung ba't talaga tayo magpapasalamat kay Lord dahil tayo po'y pinagaling, pinalaya, pinagpala. Alright, yeah. no? Pinagaling, pinalaya, pinagpala ho tayo. Kaya, thanks be to God. Ang katapatangon niyan, salamat Lord. Sabi yeah. po dyan, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kaya yung mga taong nagpapasalamat, lagi hong matagumpay po yan. Yes. Oh, maniwala Amen. ka kapatid. Pag maruna ka magpasalamat, Amen. lagi kang may victory. Amen. Kaya tayo po dyan, laging may tagumpay. Laging may tagumpay. Amen. Kaya ginagawa po natin ito kasi naniniwala ako, panibagong tagumpay itong linggo na to. Bukas, may tagumpay ka na naman. Tumbog isang linggo, I declare victory in your life. Amen? Amen. Sige po, i- samahan niyo po kami sa ating pong uh, communion. Yan. Thank you. Ihanda po natin ang ating pong mga communion at ganoon din po, maya-maya. Ay, uh, wag yung kakalimutan na tayo mag-picture dahil 
remembrance natin yan sa ganitong yeah. sitwasyon. Tayo po ay nagsisimba. No? Please, mga kapatid, salamat kay Lord. <laughs> Hindi ho nahinto ang church natin. Yeah. Hindi ho napahinto tayo ng COVID-19. Tayo magpapahinto sa Kanya. Amen? Kaya kahit na ganitong sitwasyon, tuloy lang. Type mo dyan, tuloy lang. Tuloy lang. Oo, oh, dahil naniniwala po ako, you will receive your healing today. Yes. For I received from the Lord what I also pass unto you. The Lord Jesus on the night, He was betrayed, took bread. And when He had given thanks, ayan na ho, mismo si Lord, nagpapasalamat. This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Yeah. Kaya, hindi tayo magpapasalamat dahil may sakit tayo. Magpapasalamat tayo dahil kaya tayong pagalingin ni Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lord, I receive your healing today. Yes. I receive your healing today. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Sige po tayo mula. Sabihin po natin, I'm healed! I'm healed! Yan, type mo dyan sa comment box, I'm healed! I'm healed! Amen. Alam niyo po kung ba't na ho namin kayo pinapatay para na- nakikita ho namin kayo, no? Kasi hindi namin kayo marinig, pero naririnig namin kayo through the comment box. Alright. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Alam niyo po, simbolo to ng tagumpay natin. Bakit ito natin ginagawa ito kasi may nagbayad ng tagumpay natin. Amen. Kaya bro, sister, don't worry kung meron kang pinagdadaanan na problema ngayon, no, nasa, you know, bingit tayo minsan ng problema. Hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin natin. Believe me, brothers and sisters, God has made you overcomers, victorious, Amen. Kaya tayo pong lahat, those for our victory, pagtatagumpayan natin yan. Amen? Pagtatagumpay tayong lahat. Thank God for our victory in Jesus' name. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Taso natin ating mga kamay. Panginoon, pagpalain niyo po lahat. Lord, ng mga narito sa live stream, hindi bumitiw talagang Lord ang puso namin para sa iyo. Yes. Salamat Panginoon dahil naniniwala po kami there is always victory in praise and worship. Kaya God, thank you. Thank you Lord sa panibagong tagumpay, pagpapala yeah. po ninyo, kagalingan sa buhay namin. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Alright, picture po tayo sa dali. Picture lang po tayo. Remembrance po natin ito. Yes. Thank you. Come on, picture tayo. Yan, kami. Ipadala niyo po ang lahat ng inyong picture kay sweetheart Evelyn Oliveros. Yan po. Awesome. All right, yes. Awesome. Smile, smile. Yan, thank you. Tabayan niyo po kami. Yan, okay. Thank you, thank you thank po. You. Salamat po. Yes. Ulit din po, mga kapatid. Nagpapasalamat din kami sa lahat ng mga supporters natin. Salamat po at nandiyan po ang ating pong mga video account, Metro Bank account, Gcash. Yes. Salamat po, pagpalain po kayo ni Lord sa patuloy niyong pag-support sa atin, sa gawain. Yes. At syempre, for the last time, mga kapatid, sabay-sabay tayo ulit. Na- Pindutin po natin yung share button, tayong lahat. Share po natin ang word ni Lord na napakaganda. Bless tayong lahat. One, two, three, go. Share. Right, right post. And, and then post. God bless you. We Happy you. Sunday, everyone.
Jesus. 